You can be. You can be. Anything. Anything. You want to be. You want to be. If it's to be. If it's to be. It's up to. It's up to. Me. Me. I've got this little formula. It's a four-step formula. Thank you so much. And the four-step formula goes something like that. What about the first one? step is of my little formula? What's the first step of my formula? Find your... Find your passion. So what excites you? What's the passion? Does anyone know what a passion is? Who can tell me what passion is? Find your passion. Um, yes. What you really like to do and stuff. What you really like to do. Any other definitions of passion? <laughs> something you really like to do. Something you love doing. Now let's think of a guy who found his passion. First person in New Zealand that comes to my mind is he made three amazing movies. His name's Peter Jackson. You remember what movies did he make? Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings. Is that right? Who's seen Lord of the Rings? Was that a pretty amazing movie? Now, do you think that Peter Jackson went out and found a job to earn money? What did he find? He found his passion. He found his passion. And like how many hundreds of million is Peter Jackson worth today? Thanks. 200 million or plus? So, what do you think actually worked better? Finding a job or finding your passion? Finding your passion. Hmm, that's interesting. Hmm. So he never had a job. He just loved making movies and his mum and dad sort of helped him along and he couch surfed in LA and he met the right people and eventually <coughs> someone gave him 300 or 600 million to make those movies because they believed enough in his passion because he'd been busy making movies and he just kept on doing it. So what's step two in my formula? Determination. Absolutely, you're going to need lots of that. Now to help you have that determination, what are you going to have to do? I was just doing it back before. You have to? Believe. You do have to believe. I agree with belief. What's going to help your belief? Look, everybody dreams about, oh, look, winning lotto or... Everybody dreams. Everyone has a dream. But how many people actually write their dreams down? <coughs> What's my next step? Say it aloud. Morning and night. Say it. Say it out loud. <coughs> Twice a day, morning and night. That was very good too, is it? Step four. What's step four? Does it sound too simple? Could you do this? Is there any step you couldn't do here? What do you want to be? Does anyone here know what they want to be? A doctor. You'd like to be a doctor? That's tremendous. What's your name? Cree. Come on. Say your name again. Cree. Cree? Yeah. Do you know what it's going to take to be a doctor? Put the stuff on the board. <laughs> it's going to take some of that stuff on the board. What's going to be the most important habit that a doctor is going to have to do? Study. Study. Anything else? <coughs> Read? You think it might be read? I think that could be the habit that a doctor needs to have is read lots of formula. Do you want to, who wants to know the rest of the formula? Anyone here want to know the rest of the formula? So what's step one? Okay, now everybody, let's hear it after me. Find your passion. Find your passion. Step two is write it down. Write it down. And step three is 
Say it aloud twice a day. Say it aloud twice a day. Now what would step four be? Yeah, to achieve it, what are we going to have to do to become a doctor? Who else has got something they want to do with their lives? They, they go, yeah, I'm going to do this. Anyone else got a profession? Or? To be a hairdresser. Fantastic. A teacher. A teacher? Wow. So to become a doctor, a hairdresser, a teacher... A principal, that's amazing, yes. Okay, so what is the next step? This is a really important one. Be in the habit of changing your habits. Be in the habit of changing your habits. Now what does that mean? What do you think that means for becoming a doctor? Be in the habit of changing your habits. What are you going to have to do lots of as a doctor? <coughs> S study, learning, reading. So if you get yourself in the habit of reading three hours every day... I do. You do. Fantastic. By being in that habit, yes, you can become a doctor. But by reading, do you know how many hours a day Warren Buffett reads, this billionaire? Any idea how many hours per day he reads? Three. I think somewhere between five and twelve per day. I'd find it hard, I'm just guessing from reading about the man. I must ask one day, ask his secretary to give me an estimate. Um, but I reckon he's reading like seven, eight hours a day. He reads five newspapers a day, three annual reports. He spends his whole day sitting in his office reading. He doesn't like to be interrupted. So do you think reading and being successful might be some correlation? Do you think there could be a connection between reading and becoming successful? Yep. Who thinks that? So by getting in the habit of every day reading two or three hours a day at home, like reading at home, when you get in that habit, do you think you'll have more success being the best hairdresser, being the best principal, being the best teacher, <coughs> being the best doctor? Do you think that'll help you? So a habit, how do we form a habit? How do we go about forming a habit? Do it all the time. Just do it. That's what Nike says, doesn't it? One word, action. Do it. True, isn't it? And so that's how we form a habit, it's just doing stuff. And sisters, my mum and dad, people like that, they've all helped. And so now the purpose of this trip is to get like the banks on board to see that Dell and Fonterra, those kind of places, to get the money so we can get the books in schools and so that you can all take over today. Well, Lucas, welcome to our school. I, I, I was particularly impressed with your uh, words to our young students. Um, inspiring in terms of uh, the message you have for them to chase their dreams and passions, to identify uh, opportunities that generally lie within themselves. They have the answers to it. And uh, your message about reading was priceless. Thank you. To be here with your kids today, really appreciate it. And I'm just enjoying this carving over here. Now, how do we say the name of your school? Pakaraka. Pakaraka. Yeah, the Karaka is a tree. Absolutely. And Pa represents a, a, a hill or mountain top. Okay.